So I've just recorded this like four or five times and I'm, I'm not satisfied with what I've done. So I'm going to start again. So this book here is called Roaring Into the Sunset. Now, Roaring Into the Sunset, from what you look on out of the cover, it may just seem like a normal romance to people getting it on on a motorcycle. It's not really quite what it is. So I'll explain. So imagine you had a near miss like a car accident or nearly had a car accident or nearly had another type of accident and people always say that when you nearly die your life flashes in front of you now that's what's happening in this book now Sarah and Dave the two characters you see there they're about to possibly have an accident and yet they're both sharing these flashbacks of their lives which happened in the build-up to the accident it shows everything that sort of maybe built you know their lives in the past they're everything that's brought them together to be there at that moment where they may or may not die. Don't let the models on the cover fool you. Sarah and Dave are not perfect as those two on the on the cover are. Now they grow up on a housing estate in the east of Norwich, it's really quite a rough place. Now Sarah is um she's very much the forgotten child of a woman who has several children and she's the one who gets bullied the most because she's got this big birthmark on her face and she's short and stuff like that. She's, and she's basically a target for the bullies. And um, she's sort of looked after by a group of boys who, about her age, but really she's the one looking after them and so on. And, you know, she's quite a tomboy and into motorcycles and stuff like that, obviously. But um, and then there you get you have Dave, who's more the kind of softer, kind of kind, caring bloke who when who looks after her when she's more a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, so I'd say like Sarah, who's grown up and had it rough growing up, is more rough around the edges. One of my favourite scenes is when they're about seven or eight years old, when um, the bullies come to take their pocket money and she just turns around and shoots one of them with a slingshot and puts them in hospital and just turn, turns around and continues eating her lunch. Yeah, not the kind of kid you'd want to mess with. <laughs> so I didn't want this book to be sort of like your overblown romance and like one person being a millionaire, you know, the girl trying to impress the millionaire and stuff like that. No, these two are just generally, general, ordinary, everyday people. She's a nurse. He is a mechanic. She wanted to be a mechanic, but wasn't allowed the chance to be a girl growing up in the sort of 90s. She was, she's quite bitter about that, but chose nursing as her second choice career. This, this, this is just an everyday, normal romance between two young people. But it's much more than that because it's told in flashbacks and everything leading up to this accident. Will they live? Will they die? Will there even be an accident? That's the question. And then the end might actually shock you quite a bit. But you'll have to read it for that. And the pre-order should be available sort of down here, possibly. It might be not. It might or might not be. It will be in the comments somewhere. But, um, yeah, this is based on really more the fact that it came from the idea that people on the Acor Strait, which is the road which they're on. A lot of people do get killed on that road, and a lot of the time, especially with the motorcyclists, it is actually the driver's fault. And in this, this possible accident is the driver's fault. We won't, I'll say that straight away. This possible accident is the driver's fault, not their fault. Now, they came from this book here. I might have said that already. Derail and Dispersed, they appear in this book here. And a lot of the characters from this book also appear in Derail and Dispersed. Their friend Charlie, Dave's sister, they both appear in that book. Okay, that didn't stop then. Okay, so, um, yeah, there's some... What made me come up with the idea for this is the fact that I met this bloke uh, years ago when I was visiting my brother-in-law, who actually now lives with us. He was at a um, disabled group. And one of the carers there was, I thought, was really, really good with some of the stuff, with some of the clients. And we went there that one time and he was there and he was really good with all of them. And then he just didn't ever show up again. And we wondered what happened to him. And then 
read something a couple of years later in the um, local paper and um, there he was in the local paper and it was, it was actually um, his gravestone had been meddled with and we didn't know it died and in fact it actually died almost straight after we saw him in an accident on the Acre Strait on a motorcycle and that's probably where I got the idea from but some arsehole had filled with his grave and that's why we um, we only became aware of it then and again in this situation he was completely innocent it was an overtaking driver that had killed him well there's an overtaking driver which causes this situation in this book so I, I'm I just want to dedicate this book to all of the people who have had accidents and died on this road because it really is seriously dangerous. Um, you can look it up if you like, the Acle Strait in Norfolk. There's, there's no actual official figures as to how many people have died there. But it's crazy. There's even YouTube videos about it. Okay, so, yeah, but this book is not some... Um, I, I want to make sure that you, they don't think that this book is very um, sort of dull and downbeat because it's not. It's quite funny in places. You know, it's some... Um, is bit is a bit of a tragic a tragedy in a comedy at the same time, or a possible tragedy in a comedy because, um, as I say, we don't know what's going to happen. Even the ending may fool you. <laughs> I'd say just read the blurb. To be fair, because me just rolling on about it is probably going to not sell it to you. So please just read the blurb. It's down there. Well, will be anyway. Thank you for watching.